Hey, 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 Lisa here from the Tattered Willows, coming to you live from Menor, Ohio. Okay, I'm just going to pull up on my computer so hopefully we can get comments tonight. Hopefully tonight will be a problem-free zone when it comes to the live, okay? As far as comments go, and it actually records. Yay, okay, look at this. Ooh, it actually came up right away. Yay! This takes so little to make me happy. Let me mute this, though, on my computer. So as of right now, I can see your comments, so please, when you jump on, please say hello and let me know where you're from. And a little bit of housekeeping, which I'll report, I'll remind um, you as we go on. So for tonight is night three of our coffee, hot chocolate themed, um, crafting, crazy, creativeness. And um, so Monday night we did coffee, black and white theme, several items to create a vignette. Unfortunately, that live video did not save in Facebook. Facebook had a, um, a status interrupt us. <laughs> and so I don't think I'm ever going to get that back. Um, last night was good. We did our, uh, we did the hot chocolate theme with, um, Christmas built around Christmas. And we held our, uh, lots of love auction on the, ch the board it said hot chocolate served daily and um Janie Wells was the high bidder on that for forty dollars and so that'll be going out to her this weekend and tonight we're concentrating on yet again coffee but we're going more with the white and brown theme and um also wanted to let you know if you were here please make sure you comment I mentioned last night that comments don't always show for me and if, if it's something that comes up and I don't see it, um, right from when it goes up, I see Cindy's here. Hi, Cindy. Um, if, it, if I don't see it, sometimes I won't see it later because Facebook will say, you know, only relevant comments. You know, so they get to make that choice for me, as I mentioned yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I have a lot that I want to do for you guys um, and show you what we're doing. And... It's pretty much all chalk couture tonight because they had a great coffee themed um, uh, transfer. So everything here, there's a total of three different transfers that I'm using for this project, okay? So I've shown this one. We did the other half of this one. This was our B-size transfer. We did the other half the other night. And I was looking for a mug, but this is actually very large, as you can tell by my hand. So I thought, you know what, this would be cute because it's kind of like a ground coffee container. Literally, that's what it could be used for. So we're going to be doing this here. And um, we're going to be doing a big coffee sign. Isn't that lovely? This is going to go on a double-sided box frame. Y'all have seen me use these several times. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes. It's got a nice hefty weight to it. I love it. And it's double sided. There's a brown side and a white side. We're going to do the brown. And um, so we could always do something on the back as well. And my little light thing holder is getting worn out. So <laughs> it's not staying on too well. So that's that one and then we're going to do a little tag i'll talk more about that and then the other three pieces that come on this one this is a d size transfer it comes it's this one and then three other small transfers so i got things all picked out so we're going with all like whites and browns with a little bit of sparkle thrown in so we'll go ahead and get the tin done first i did wipe that off earlier but i can see a couple fingerprints on there so on here, we're going to use just regular paste and because um, we don't need to use ink because we're not going to be like washing it. Okay, a little bit of a, I don't know, a 
So if you haven't seen me use Chalk Couture products before, they are an adhesive back transfer. It's a nut silk screen in there. And I'm only going to do this. I'm going to fuzz it just because I haven't used this before. Just to put a little bit of fuzz on the sticky side and to minimize how much stick there is um, when I go to lift it back up. Okay, yeah, this is like, a, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, that would be perfect. I got this at Target, $3. I'll be taking that off, because if you've seen me here before, you know I do not like labels and stickers on things. And the type who cuts them off my clothes and everything, most times. Clothes, pillows, you know, how, why is it? Why is it, seriously, that pillows have 5,000 tags on them? Why? And that it's, you know, the warning, oh, it's only to be moved by the consumer. Like, intellectually, I, I understand they got to put, like, what's in there and that it's, you know, doesn't have this chemical or that chemical. But really, please, on the average, there's net, I don't think there's ever any less than, there's definitely two, usually... I swear there's going to be three on there. Okay. So I want to make sure that's down because this is a big surface right here, the mug itself. And I can see a few air bubbles there. And I want to try to get those out. Otherwise, it might bleed under the, where it says blah, blah, blah coffee. I love this. This is so cute. Okay. That's kind of like when you're putting down wallpaper. Really try to make sure that that. Uh, I'll have to risk it with that one. So I'm going to use our shimmer silver. It is like a shimmer white. So pretty. As you jump on, please say hi, where you're from. And um, so as I was saying, if you've been on here at least two or three nights, go ahead and please comment with your name. Even... Just put your name and that, you know, that you were here at least two nights, like day night one, night two, night three, you know, one and three, whatever it is. And um, once I get through all those later tonight, I will pick at least one person that was here for two nights for some happy mail. Okay. I let, just as a show of appreciation and thanks for hanging out with me um, several evenings and tolerating my silliness and my some my sometimes mistakes and errors or trouble sometimes with the technology, whatever the case may be. But and that I do appreciate appreciate you. Also, um, which I haven't uh, pinned in the comments, um, I'd really appreciate your support as I tr continue working to build my small business. And if you wouldn't mind sprinkling my video and my page, even liking my page, if you don't already, that would be oh so very much appreciated. Nothing like supporting small businesses. And stuff as I continue to work on it. We'll keep that to the side. And again, please say hello. Ooh, I see a, a three-nighter. All right. Okay, we're going to peel this off. And I can't hold it too well because of it's rounded and it rolled. So I got to kind of do this. This, You guys, this is going to be so stinking cute. Do we not love this or what? Ah! If you don't, then you, you're dead to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, I'm very dramatic, aren't I? Okay, we're going to put this over here. And I want to make sure I don't bump that because the the shimmer frost, the shim, all the shimmer colors of paste, they take a little bit longer to dry. They're a little more dense and, and stuff. So I don't, kind of like me, a little more dense. So I don't want to smudge it as it's drying. So 
And show me some hearts if you like Project One. Hey, Janie Wells. Stinking cute. Oh my gosh, that's perfect on this tin. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here so it can be drying. So I got a little encoutrement <laughs> to hang off of that, or actually I, was, I think I might put it on this big sign. So let me wait, I'll talk more about that. Oh, you all didn't see that. Okay, we're gonna go to the big sign, okay? So again, this is double-sided, and I think I'm going, I, th I was first thinking, no, I'm gonna use the white side, alrighty? And I'm gonna use a little bit of surface wax. I, I know you guys, I say this all the time. Um, please say hi when you jump on and let me know where you're from. And it's such a good, yummy weight. It's like a solid one inch, yeah, the framing around it. And this is solid, okay? It's, it's like a farmhouse style board. It's beautiful. And um, being it is wood, I do want to, I'm gonna sand it a little bit first to kind of break, break it down, break it down. Oh, sorry, I'm not percussing this. But I also wanna do the edges of the frame to give that um, distressed look. We will be coming back and distressing it more again, staying with kind of my MO. See, see this is just to help taking just a little bit of that white paint off on there and showing a little bit more wood grain. I'm going to put this because it's dusty and brush this off so don't mind. Yes, I just blew that. I'm going to put a wipe on it real quick. Get that extra. The dust is so fine. Actually, I don't even need to use a wipe. I'll just use a moistened paper towel. So, as I mentioned, if you, um, Lisa's phrase of the day, encoutrement, is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> okay. The thing is, like, you want to make sure that dust is off of there, because if it's not, and then you go to put your transfer on there, those little fine particles that you can't see are going to decrease the ability of the transfer to stick and increase the possibility of um, a bubble, even a very fine one that keeps the transfer from going through. Not even necessarily a bubble, like where the mesh is, where you see white here on the, the backer sheet. If there was dust under there, you're not really gonna see it because it's white, it's, everything's white. But when you actually go to put your paste on and then you pull this up, you're gonna see like little marks. Not that that's totally a terrible thing because um, it just adds to the distress. If you look on here, see how in the white, like there on the F, there's that blue. That means no paste is going to show up there. Okay, so it kind of it's created and built to have a distressed look. So again, that's one reason you don't have to worry about like it being all perfect. Um, you know, like if you do have those few spots that maybe get missed. So I sanded this. I'm just going to do a light coat of our surface wax. This thing keeps turning. And um, just to help kind of seal it, if you will, it makes the surface that much smoother. And it helps keep the transfer from pulling up, especially on this, the finish that's there. Okay, and you don't need a lot, but the paste will go through the um, transfer better because this is smooth. That's why the paste and the, um, the transfers, like they love like the chalkboard surfaces, glass, anything like that. Y'all, I'll have to take a picture. I put a transfer on my microwave. I need to redo it though because my son wasn't paying attention and like scraped it. Um, for Halloween. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna fuzz our transfer. And the fuzzing is again to help minimize 
you want to decrease the stickiness just a little bit. Again, when you're on like glass and stuff, you don't have to worry about it as much. But these things can be a bear to come up. You saw how hard it was for me to get it off that um, canister. And, you know, I only fuzzed it once, but it, it's not going to damage the surface of the canister. Whereas this on the wood, it could, it can, it can like pull up some of the um, base coat, if you will, that's on there. And if you're fighting with it like that, it, you're potentially going to affect um, your transfer. Sometimes you'll get a brand new transfer and it's like... You could tell when you touch it, okay? And like if I put it on here, it's like it barely, not that it barely sticks. And then other ones are like, wow, this has got mega stick on it. This is one of the mega ones, I can tell. That's why I'm doing it a little bit more. You can hear that, like it's still sticking really good. Don't get me wrong, it'll come up. It's just I want to make my life a little easier on that part. All right, put that to the side. I think we're ready. And again, this um, this board is like perfect for this transfer. Look at that. You know what's funny? When um, Chalk Couture, when they, because... Um, you know, when they, they do like all their own pictures and their lookbooks or catalog and they, the um, design studio right there at corporate, which is in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, of course, they did this one to show what it was going to look like. They didn't use a chalk couture base, which is fine. I was kind of surprised because as you could see, this is a perfect fit on here, but they didn't. They used a quote unquote found surface. If you ever see that, that's what they are meaning. A found surface is one that's, they found it somewhere else. They didn't find it at John Couture. Okay, so we've got that on our surface. I'm gonna use bark. Again, kind of staying with that warm brown theme. Let me get another. So this here is our silicone. This is our large squeegee, my bark. Taste is getting low. You know what? I'm going to add a little water. Remember, this is the one that I used last night on the pennant, the canvas pennant. And I was like, yeah, I probably should have just moistened the whole bottle since there was our jar. So let me stir this real quick, y'all. Don't mind me. I'll use it. Looks like it got poop on there. There, I said it. I know everybody who saw last night's was thinking that. Um... <laughs> I was like, oh, it looks like she's spreading poop poop on that banner. Okay, so this is our a multi-use tool, and you can see it's got like that little scooper, and it gets under the lip of the paste. So I mentioned this before that if you are moistening your paste, like it needs to be a thick yogurt consistency. Now this is obviously I've had it for a little bit longer; it's almost gone. It starts to dry a little bit. So just by adding a little bit of distilled water to it, you want to do that if you're moistening it in the jar so you don't introduce bacteria. Um, oops, wrong one. See, I almost did that. I have this one marked distilled just for that reason. Um, but you can moisten it up and it just makes it easier. Like I could have used it really thick, but then it would have stuck even more so in that mesh and increased the likelihood of it getting pulled up when I um, went to pull the, yeah, that's better. Still a little bit sticky, but there's not much left, so I'm not going to worry about it. Wipe that off. This multi-tool is fabulous. Like I said, you could, that's like perfect for getting it in to your jar and then this is like a little mini squeegee it's about half the size of of our mini squeegee so it's teeny tiny squeegee all right so i'm just gonna like make a big this looks like milk chocolate frosting and that's kind of the texture you want 
a, a, a more of a light whippy frosting, not buttercream. That's too stiff. And it, technically, I'd probably want this to be a little bit thinner, but you hear that going across that vinyl? And I'm just pushing through that mesh to get that. Now, this, I th yeah, I think I got it. I don't want to get any on the frame. It wouldn't be the end of the world if I did. But if you are working on a project that you are worried about hitting, if it's like really close to the frame, you could always use some painter's tape. We also have something called transfer tape. And it's just like painter's tape, but it's n really nice and narrow. So it's really nice for blocking off like, um, like the frame so you can be a little bit more crazy as you're doing this. And we want to go back, just like frosting that cake and getting that excess off or that paint, drywall mud. that there and I'm gonna wipe my hands because I'm gonna be touching this frame and I don't want to get paste on it because I do have paste on my fingers I know that's shocking to y'all that I have paste on my fingers all right so we're is anybody doing anything special for Halloween huh share it here okay yeah I got a lot right there still let me get some of that off Gotta move it along though because it's gonna start drying in there. Let's see if I can get this with my fingernail. And you don't wanna let that sit too long because it's gonna start to dry in the mesh. Okay, so we're just oh, holding this. See how nice easily this came up? It didn't have that sound like it was stuck. That was because we um Buzzed it really well to keep it from sticking. Look how nice. Look how. Do you love it? Show me some hearts if you love this. It's perfect. Okay, we'll put that one to the side and I'm going to spray this transfer just to moisten the paste in the mesh. Make it might clean up a little bit easier. I literally have over here some, like a tub rug, you know, when you get out of the tub you step onto with, um, on top of it, a mat like you would put inside your tub to keep you from slipping. So if you're here, please say hello. If you're not here, I guess it would be hard to say hello. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it takes so little to amuse myself. So, okay, next we have our little coffee bar sign. Lovely, that was attached. I Before we got started, I obviously cut this off of the um, transfer we just did, but they all come together, this one. And so these three and the one that I did already that has coffee served fresh all day. So I'm gonna put the coffee bar on this. I believe I got this, I want to say Hobby Lobby, and it's already connected. Chuck Couture does something very similar. It's just not curved at the top, but I, I liked how this one stood. And um, But it's kind of that faux, um, blah, chalkboard. <laughs> and this is new. You could see when I cut them off because they're all the same size. I put which one goes on which. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day, but because I'm a little AR about certain things, I wanted to make sure this shape went on this shape. And you wanna save these because after you clean them, you're gonna put them back on there. So since this is more of a chalkboard surface, again, I don't have to worry quite as much about um, how sticky it is. And that had a totally different, let me put it on this side, I wanna. That one wasn't nearly as sticky as the other. Okay. So we're just gonna put this right in the middle. All right. So
So with this one, we're going to go with the bark on the top where it says coffee. Probably should have got my smaller squeegee. I like to be a rebel. So. Now, obviously, like you don't have to use every single transfer if you want to do a coffee bar, but I wanted to. So A, I have it, and B, so I could show you guys what you can do. So I'm just going to lift that up a little bit. It looks like I didn't get my F all the way. That's because I used this silly big old squeegee. Grab my little one that I just stirred it with. And press on that so that's the nice thing too when you go to um, lift up you could kind of look and like oh now we've got a full and put that aside and oh, no, there's the shimmer. I'm gonna do the shimmers um, silver for the coffee pot because you know it's stainless steel I wish we had a shimmer gray, but I, I kind of think that I'm anticipating that on this black, it's gonna have, pick up more of a gray tone. So I haven't seen any um, more comments come up. Let me scroll here or refresh real quick. See if any more have come up. Um, ah, hey, Melanie, cool beans. So yeah, say, that's an uh, old colleague, not old in age. <laughs> She's probably thinking, yeah, I am old. I know her. We used to work together. Mel, did you come back married from Vegas? <laughs> um, she is that girl. Let me tell you, I'm giving up this poor woman's secrets that nobody knows. Um, it's not a secret at all. She'd be the first to tell you loves her coffee unless something's changed in the last couple years but that's not likely so and then we're going to do this at the bottom again I want to wipe my fingers off and peel this up what do you guys think do you love it Show me some hearts if you like this one. I like that little bit of sparkle on the um, coffee pot. And you know, we could paint this. I'm not gonna worry about it, but we could. I mean, I like it raw too. That raw finish, it kind of helps it, makes it coordinate with the this board a little bit more, but we could paint it. So look at that. Three things already. We've been together for half an hour. All right, our final two signs. So these are houses um, from Chalk Couture. They come in a two pack. Actually, in all transparency, these particular ones aren't available anymore. They now have a three pack with different roof lines, which is really cool. But other than that, they're the same. And they're that same heavy wood. They say Chalk Couture down there. Um, and so we're going to put one on each of these, and I'm going to do the same thing as far as the sanding of it a little bit. And before we transfer it, and I want to kind of get those, um, the roof peaks to break it down a little bit more. And because it's already painted, obviously the sanding is that much more fine than when you're just doing wood. Okay, and like the other one, we're going to go ahead and wipe it off so we make sure we get all the dust off. It worked out really good on the other one. We didn't have any issues with um, dust underneath the transfer, imp impeding the transfer, um, the paste going onto the project. Now this is going to go really fast because these are both just going to be done 
in um, the uh, shimmer. Shimmer gold. And oh, almost forgot to wax my wood. <laughs> Gotta wax my wood, y'all. Okay, let's see here. Just like with the other one, wood is porous and not only does it fluff up when it gets moist, but um, you can kind of ever so slightly feel that texture there and it just makes it a little bit easier if um, we wax at first for the paste to go on. My husband's probably getting home from work and that's why the dogs are barking. So I apologize, but hey, real life happened in here, right? Okay. All right. So it's really a wax on, wax off. It's not something you put it on there. I can feel that now. That's a little too much. Um, you don't really... Actually, I lied. I believe the directions do say to leave it on there. But pretty much none of us do that. I think it's one of those things, it's like when you go to use it, you just have to get a feel for it initially. Yeah. Like nobody's going to do that. For like half an hour. Apply an even coat. Yeah, 15 to 30 minutes. None of us do that. I shouldn't say none of us. None of us that I know <laughs> that are... Um, creatives using chalk couture products, whether whether they're an independent designer like myself or, you know, purchasing from other people. Okay, so we're gonna fuzz this one a couple times and center this on here. And smooth it down. Make sure all that blue is stuck where it's supposed to be stuck so nothing tries to sneak in on the where the silk screen mesh is. So again, if, if anybody's jumped on since the beginning when I gave the reminder about if you were here two or three nights, please um, make a comment with your name in the comment and that you were here, you know, one, two nights or three nights. So I could put your name in a drawing for some Happy Meal, okay? Actually, I think I want this one to come up just a little bit more because of that heart, that cup. Make it more in the roof line. There we go. All right. Make some magic, y'all. Whoa, did you see that? Now that's a perfect demonstration of what the consistency is gonna make a bubble. Whoop, boo. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's me after I eat broccoli. Um, <laughs> sorry. Way too much information, I know, but you know, what can I say? Um, um, a goof. Okay, so we're gonna use the shimmer gold on the white, just for that little splash of color. Again, you can use whatever colors you want. Um, this transfer is available on my site, and once I get um, pictures of the finished products, and I'll post the pictures along with the links to the products that I used, and if you decide that you'd like to make this, you can go right on my site, my shop, and um, get whatever it is you want. Everything that I've used, except for this particular surface, is from Chalk Couture. Tell you what I'll do, when I do the cart link for it, I'll put the other board that I mentioned that's very similar from Chalk Couture, and it, you know it's there. On those cart links, oh my just decided to turn off um, on the cart links when you see those if you click on them it's it's just that it's a cart that already has the stuff in it but all you have to do is 
click the X if you want something removed. Or if there's like, maybe you don't want gold paint. Maybe you want to do everything in, in greens. Awesome. All you got to do, I should have peeled that transfer off before. She came up nice and easy. Um, is remove it and add however you desire. You guys, I am loving this. I don't have a coffee bar, but I may be having to make one. Like, I talked about it for over a year. Do we love it? Did anybody just hear my guinea pig agree with me? <laughs> He's a Okay, so show me some hearts if you see this and you like them. They don't, I, you know, when I was thinking about colors, I was going back and forth between the black and stuff like that, you know. Um, but like I said, I did that the other night with all of these and decided I don't want to do black and white again. Okay, so... And you can see that little bit of sanding I did around the edges just to kind of break it a little bit. That's the word I use. I didn't break anything literally, but. Okay, so one more little thing. So these are our chalk suede tags. And they literally, they're a card stock, but the texture on them is like a very short, smooth suede. They're very yummy when you touch them. They have um, like a scalloped edge. They come in a pack like this. I believe it's six total. Oh no, it's more than that. It's 12. These, and we have them in white and then the craft paper as far as color. And then there's like the typical chevron bottom or dovetail, whichever way you want to call it. And it even comes with coordinating string, like Baker's twine is kind of what it reminds me of. You don't have to use this if you don't want, but we're gonna do a little tag on here that we could tie on our canister. Yep, that's what we're doing. Actually, it'll be cute on the canister. It would be cute, like nailed um, into the top of the coffee sign and hanging. There's so many different ways to do it. And what are we putting on here, you ask? We have minis called, gosh, what are those minis called? Beautiful something. I have the whole pack here. So minis are a B-size transfer. In other words, they're 8 by 11. And they're these perfect size, which are great for tags, mini ornaments, like for Christmas, whatever the case is. Um, this is beautifully rare. I think it's only because this one says beautifully rare, so they named the whole thing that. I would have put coffee first. Um, so it's just a variety, like positive affirmations and um, different ones, but they're really nice for these little projects like this. I'll do just one quick stick, and this says coffee first. And move that over just a little. There really is, other than fuzzing, you don't have to, you, sh you really shouldn't have to anyways, wax this or anything. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna go with the shimmer silver, since my thought was to put it with the canister that had the shimmer silver as well. I realize I never did use the white, but that's okay. My shimmer silver is about gone. Look at, there's like none left in there. But worry not. I've got more than enough for this project and I got a full jar just brand spanking new, which I'll be using a lot after this tonight with really focusing on all my holiday specific themed items. So that's what you're gonna be seeing, whether it's chalk couture or otherwise, moving forward. Cause I do have a show coming up. All right, let's get this bad boy off. Oh, I hope I didn't speak too soon about not waxing it. I haven't waxed them ever before. Okay. It's okay. Everybody hold tight. Hold tight. Oh. 
It's really fighting me though, I'll tell you that. I probably should have just fuzzed it more. The only thing you want to, and this is the other thing with like fuzzing to help prevent so that you don't stretch. See how that's curled up now? Because <laughs> it's, so, it, it's it, I could still use it, that's not the problem. But you don't want to potentially stretch that silk screen in there and have it be all like floppy. It's gonna make it difficult for um, further use after that. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, I wanna, let me put these lids on real quick. Like you're preventing me from doing that, right? put this to the side and so I'm going to go ahead and use one of these little strings because I think they're absolutely adorable but you can use jute twine wire regular ribbon whatever suits your style so we're just going to make a little knot in there you could do it any way you want. If you want to put it through the hole and then tie it, you can do that. But because I don't want to fuss with it forever, I just do the knot, put it through the hole, and then, you know, the little then through. There we go. Is that not adorable? So what I thought was... put it on here like that and hanging down. That's one option. Could even open the lid and stick it in the lid. Okay. It would work on pretty much everything that we did. You could just hang it as extra. I probably wouldn't put it there only because it'll cover that. One of my favorite things with these boards like this is doing a hang tag. And I probably do it here. I would put a small nail. You can't see. A small nail here on top or right in the corner, a cute little decorative nail, you know, with like a square head or a hammered, and just let this hang. Isn't that adorable? So these are our projects for tonight. Again, we started off by doing the coffee canister with blah, blah, blah coffee. That was half of a B size transfer. We used the other half the other night. This is our, um, what is the size on this? I can never remember. 20s. 18 by 6, um, no, 18 by 8 box frame, double sided, with our coffee transfer, one of four pieces in the whole transfer set. This was a chalk suede tag with coffee first mini transfer on that. And then we did two houses. These were transfers from um, that were attached to the coffee transfer. So can you guys see how you could start putting this together, like on your counter or shelf in your coffee bar to style it? Some cute little, um, you know, like the wooden beads, wooden bead garland would be cute laced through here. All right, that's what I like to do when I'm done is um, style it, as they say, and share that picture so you can kind of get an idea of how you might use it. And then this one, so you could have them at various heights and stuff. You could put a hanger on this and hang one if you wanted. I don't know that I'd hang the houses. That'd be kind of weird, right? But you could definitely hang this. It doesn't have a hanger on it, but um, it can. we could put a hanger on the back, like a sawtooth hanger and hang that, of course it's sturdy enough that it'll sit up on a shelf or anywhere. And then you're gonna style all these things together. So we gave you three, six projects tonight in 50 minutes, all right? So one more um, reminder to please put your name in a comment along with your, um, how many nights that you were with us at this three night event, okay? One, two, or three. 
Um, I'm going to take the people. I don't know. I might put if you were here at all. But you have to comment. You have to comment your name and that you were here. Okay. Ideally, you were here for more than the one night. But I get it. Um, and if you catch it on replay, if you put hashtag replay with your name, I'll give it 24 hours to, uh, to pull for Happy Meal. I know I said I would go through it tonight, but, you know, I'm feeling kind of generous. So if you do catch any of these on replay, put hashtag replay and your name in the comments because hopefully I'll, I'll see it because Facebook's funny that way. So it'll say only relevant comments. So make sure you do a little bit more than just, I don't know, hi, because Facebook, I don't think, considers that relevant. And like I said, I will pull somebody's name for some happy meal. Okay? So I'm going to say good night. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate it so much and for supporting my small business as I continue to try to bring you more projects and provide inspiration and um yeah i'm here for you all righty take care have a great night a beautiful weekend enjoy halloween we'll talk to you later good night